Hello, how are you? Welcome to another episode of Changer, Chamber Exchange. And uh, we welcome you again. Uh, this is our fifth show. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm Michelle Miller. And I'm Jennifer Walker, Associate Director at the Chamber. Thanks for watching. Uh, first of all, we want to talk about some upcoming events that are coming up with our members. Uh, we have several ribbon cuttings and some events. Uh, ribbon cuttings are, uh, we have what, five just this month for? Several, yes. Yes. <laughs> so it's, there's been a lot of great things going on in the business community uh, over the last uh, two, three months. Uh, a lot of new business, a lot of uh, uh, businesses that are expanding uh, either brand new locations or expanding their existing building building uh, and I think we have a slide that shows some of the upcoming events that we have tomorrow we have a ribbon cutting at Reds at 11 a.m. tomorrow they'll be cutting the ribbon and actually Reds has a few days of, of things going on so you can see there on the their flyer several things that uh, the public can attend the Artisan Market and Artisan Shop has an ugly sweater event coming up, uh, yeah. giving people an opportunity to join in on some festivities and create some art and things. And of course, we have Colony Club. They will be having their ribbon cutting and open house. And then Smith Chevrolet is celebrating a grand reopening. They have recently done uh, some remodeling to their dealership, so they will be having a ribbon cutting uh, from 11 to 1 with the ribbon being cut at 11. And then they've got some evening events planned also, which we will be promoting on our website and our Facebook. So those are just a few upcoming uh, chamber member related events just in the next few weeks. And we also recently had a ribbon cutting at the brand new Beauty Bar. Uh, the Beauty Bar Downtown Gala Police uh, just opened a month or two ago, I believe. And it's a, it's a beautiful, beautifully renovated uh, space. Uh, and it was great to, to see what they've done with this downtown building. Uh, so if you get a chance, stop by and see what they've done there. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then our most recent big event was our annual uh, meeting, Chamber Annual Meeting and Awards Banquet. Uh, every year we uh, honor several different uh, people, organizations, businesses for contributing to the community in some way. Uh, and we do have a few pictures from that night that we're going to show you. This is Pat Tackett with Miss Marianne Campbell. Uh, Pat was the volunteer, Marianne Campbell Volunteer of the Year Award, Chamber Volunteer of the Year. And last year the award was named after uh, Marianne Campbell. Marianne is uh, one of, uh, she's just amazing. She is a full-time volunteer with the Chamber. So it was just fitting to, to name an award. But Pat uh, has been part of our River Rec Creation Festival Committee. Um, and plus he's involved in a lot of other activities and he's just amazing to work with. He goes above and beyond. So he was honored uh, the, and the dinner was Thursday the 28th. This is Bossard Memorial Library. Uh, they were honored with the Sudden Impact Award uh, for their construction of the Riverside Room which helped them to expand the services that they offer. Uh, and it just did a lot for the downtown community. It really opened up. They had a Stegosaurus exhibit. Uh, they had Miss Ohio, uh, Megan Wise there, and they did a Queen's Tea. So they've just done a lot of different things, especially since adding on to. This is the Emancipation Celebration Committee and uh, they were honored for committee of the year for what they do and we're actually going to talk to Andy Gilmore later uh, in this program who is the president of the committee about the Emancipation Proclamation celebration. And this is uh, Jimmy Carpenter for JC's Convenience Plus and he was uh, awarded the Beautification Award for his what they have uh, managed to accomplish with their Rio Grande uh, location. It was an empty building for the longest time and now it's a full service convenience store and he added a greenhouse and and just really beautified that whole entire area. And uh, this was Ohio Valley Bank and uh, they they were awarded with uh, the uh, Community Involvement Award, sorry. They were awarded with the Community Involvement Award, and 
they are really big on community first and and giving back some of the things that they do they uh, have what they call by day Fridays and the employees go out in groups to eat at a local restaurant at the cost of of the bake they go and visit local retailers to find out what they have to offer uh, they have impact days where their employees can volunteer for another organization and count it as uh, hours worked I guess uh, and and then they also have other initiatives so they uh, were uh, recognized at the annual meeting and then this is 93.1 the wolf WJEH and they were uh, given the small business of the year award they were recognized uh, for their efforts as a locally owned and operated uh, business and what they give back to the community and this was our big winner of the night, and this is the uh, Jesse Payne, Miss Jessie Payne, and she was awarded the Bud and Donna McGee Community Service Award for her involvement uh, in the community, her volunteerism, and it, it was really kind of fun. Uh, the Bud and Donna McGee Award recipient is kept secret until it is announced on the stage so that kind of makes some logistic planning fun we have to make sure that the awardee is there and we try to get family there but she was surprised which was is the the goal and it was really our honor to honor her that evening she does a lot for the community uh, at large she's been a volunteer uh, for the Emancipation Committee, the NAACP, the uh, Holzer Health System. So uh, we were very happy to be able to award her that. And then our biggest, uh, or not biggest, but uh, one of the highlights of the evening was we welcomed uh, Jim Tressel to speak. Uh, and he gave a very uh, motivating speech for the dinner. Uh, and it made a lot of people happy to get to meet him, but he gave a, a very motivating speech. And one of our local businesses, actually, Rocket 7, uh, taped it and they uploaded it to their website. So if you want to hear the speech, uh, you can download that or go on to their website at rocket7.com backslash blog and you can hear the speech that he gave during the annual dinner. So that's just an overview. Uh, oh, this is our board. Sorry. Uh, this is the 2016 uh, Gallia County Chamber of Commerce board and staff. Uh, and we, we welcomed them th that night as well. We had two new board members come on board. We had Anthony Sola and Bryn Saunders. Mm -hmm. We may be missing a couple people in there, but that's most yeah, of us. Yeah, that's most of us. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we also we said goodbye to two board members. Uh, Kyla Carpenter, who was our past president, uh, immediate past president, and she uh, served on, I believe, 11 years, mm -hmm. I think, on the chamber board, which is a very long time to be committed to something. And then Lori Young, who uh, was our secretary, and uh, they both uh, said goodbye to the board that night, and then we welcomed the two other board members. And we have a new president, Mr. Josh Simmons. Mr. Josh Simmons. Yes. Uh, Brian Long went out as president uh, that night, and Josh Simmons is the new president of the chamber. So that's just an overview of some of the things that uh, or the awards that were given for during the annual dinner and I think without uh, further ado <laughs> yeah now we're gonna we're going to uh, welcome our guest Andy Gilmore he is president of the Emancipation Proclamation Celebration Committee uh, did I say that right you okay said right. I said it right, All right. Uh, so Andy's here with us to talk about this great event of course they were recognized uh, you know like I said at the annual dinner uh, but they first I would just tell us a little bit about the history it is considered the longest continuous running in the nation correct yes, celebration right. of its kind well, uh, Michelle and Jennifer I'd, I'd like to first of all thank you for the invitation to come out and uh, say a few things about uh, the emancipation celebration that uh, uh, we're very proud of uh, of our history of uh, celebrating the Abraham President Lincoln signing of the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, we've been celebrating this uh, this event uh, 
ever since uh, the word came to Gallia County in uh, 1863. Okay. Uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, signed the Emancipation Proclamation that freed the uh, the slaves in in uh, in the, in the states and parts of states that were in rebellion against the United States government, and uh, he he signed that document uh, in January of uh, 1863. But the word got to Gallia County in September. Okay. September 22nd <laughs> of, uh, of of uh, 1863, and. Uh, we, from well, I, I wasn't there, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> from what I understand, they had a, a real, real celebration, and uh, and we've been we've been celebrating uh, uh, that uh, that signing of the proclamation every year since then, okay. uh, and it uh, has been at different locations in Gallia County and around, uh, uh, and we we've moved from from Benton to uh, the city of Galpolis to to Bidwell Bush. Bush Park in Bidwell, Ohio, and uh, uh, to the Gallia County Fairgrounds uh, for for a long stint, and uh, now uh, thanks to the invitation from uh, Bob Evans Corporation, we've moved uh, the uh, celebration to Bob Evans Farm. And you, I think one time when I was talking to you, you said it was kind of a homecoming event, wasn't it? Uh, that a lot of people come back home yes, yes, for that yes, event. A lot of families uh, yes. come back home for the event. Yes, it's uh, it's really really interesting that uh, that when uh, when when uh, the proclamation was uh, was signed and all the. Uh, uh, the school, the local schools, and all were still segregated. Okay. And uh, the, uh, when every September the twenty second, the schools would let the students, the black students, out to go whatever day that fell on to go to the celebration. And uh, it, was, uh, it was quite an event that uh, that everybody looked forward to, and the people that had left Gallia County remember what the emancipation was all about and they would come back and bring their families back and uh, uh, go over under the trees and have uh, picnic lunches and uh, and and of course uh, we had uh, a lot of uh, a lot of politicians <laughs> <laughs> would come out to uh, you know come out uh, shake some hands yeah, kiss some babies hands, yeah kiss some babies and, and get well them. there was one picture that uh, we were going through which we have some pictures to show from this past year but there is a picture from 2009 uh, that and it's a little bit I think it was a little smaller uh, than I, I realized so it's a little bit uh, grainy but can you tell us a little bit about who's in the Picture. Yes, uh, uh, looking at the, the uh, from uh, right to left, Bill Jackson is with the uh, VFW uh, here in Gallia County, a longtime member and one of the oldest members of uh, of our organization. And he's he's always there uh, to uh, for our flag raising. He he's uh, in charge of raising the flag out the, the emancipation to open up our our ceremony. And beside him is a reenactor, Michael Crutcher, uh, who is reenacting uh, Frederick Douglass, the famous uh, abolitionist from uh, from the Civil War era. And he was there a lot, like he several was, years. Yes, he was. Okay. He, he, and uh, we expect him to be here again, again? this year. Okay. Uh, this year. Then on over, there's the members of the uh, of the Sons of Union veterans uh, here in Gallia County with Jim Euler and and in behind them are uh, segments of the uh, USCT United States Colored Troops. Okay. Uh, they uh, then have reenactors come to our event and camp out and camp at the uh, at Bob Evans and at the fairground when we was having it at the fairground. So. Well, so this leads us into this past year. We have several uh, photos from this past year that uh, we can talk about. And you had. Uh, well, we'll talk about her in a minute because we have a picture of her. But right. uh, it, it is now at Bob Evans Farm, right, yes. you said? Uh, and so we have, tell us a little bit about it. Well, we'll go through the, the photos. Uh, you talked about the raising of the flag. And 
that is a, a ceremony within itself. Yes. I remember uh, the several times that I've been there during that ceremony. Uh, they march in, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, so here's a picture of uh, the raising out at Bob Evans this past year. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, uh, we have at the flag raising, we usually have a local band. Okay. Uh, to play the Star Spangled Banner and uh, and uh, have someone to give the pledge of allegiance to the flag, and uh, it's uh, it, it's uh, quite uh, quite impressive uh, ceremony uh, uh, out there uh, doing that. Uh, at, Used to be that uh, opening up the the ceremony was just a one day event, but now we 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 we've got the whole weekend, third weekend in in September, and uh, and that 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 opens it up on Saturday, uh, Saturday you? morning. So uh, now, okay. Now you all had quite a notable speaker yourselves at your last event. Would you like to tell us a little bit about? Oh her? yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've heard of her we, before. We, we really were uh, a privilege to. Uh, to have uh, the what Sports Illustrated said was the uh, the athlete the the female athlete of the century, uh, and uh, uh, Jackie Joyner Kersey, who was a, a multiple gold medal uh, winner at the at the Olympics, and uh, she uh, she came and she gave an uh, outstanding motivational uh, message. In her, her keynote uh, address to to all, especially to to young uh, African American girls that uh, that need more motivating, uh, and she she really done a good uh, done us a good job. Now, what was the in the picture? It show it was you, and and, and she was uh, holding a it looks like a quilt. That's a who quilt, who yes. made or uh, did somebody uh, make that locally? Yeah, Cora Dunsmore. Uh, her, her last name's not Dunsmore anymore, but I, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I, I remembered her as, as, a, as a young girl. Her her maiden name was Dunsmore. She makes uh, these uh, these quilts and uh, puts uh, pictures on them and impressions. So it's like a and memory quilt. You're right. Yeah, okay. she presented that to uh, to Jackie Jordan along with other uh, mementos. It was. Uh, Presented to Jackie Joyner, that uh, it was really a, a, a landmark year for us last year. Good. Yeah, it, 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 uh, well, I know that you all work all year long to f to find people to come in and speak. So that's great. I, I, I know that everybody was excited about yeah. it last year. Now we have a few other pictures, and we'll just kind of run through these. Uh, you have different performers that come in. You have different. Uh, activities throughout the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, is this a magician? Yeah, is that's that he does? a magician. He had had the magic show, and uh, he he also portrays uh, 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 Box Brown, uh, and and in his magic show who was who was a famous uh, uh, black uh, uh, underground railroad uh, representative. Okay, that, that came uh, came from the south in a box. <laughs> really? It was uh, 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 escaped uh, from slavery in a, in a box, a box brown. But his main goal, and, and I think all the, especially all the children really enjoyed the, the magic show. Okay. And then uh, this was another performance? Yes, that was the uh, Dotson girls. Uh, they were doing interpretive, interpretive dance. Okay. And uh, that... Uh, that was that went over good too. We try to try to get the members of the community involved in it. And this is some live music uh, that played, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's uh, 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 Steve Ball and his wife. Uh, they uh, have Civil War music. Okay. And uh, they, they not only do they sing Civil War era music, but they they uh, talk history. The history behind the music. Okay. Uh, uh, it was really enjoyable. This was the second or third year that we've had uh, Steve Ball and his wife. Uh, I, uh, I thought they'd been there before. Yeah. And uh, here's another performance, correct? Yes. These are. This is the uh, 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 Mount Zion uh, Baptist Church Choir uh, from Madison, West Virginia, who were were there with us on Sunday because uh, our Sunday. Our Sunday program starts out with the church services, and uh, and a preacher and and their choir. And this was the choir that uh, that was there. 
We're, um, and you know, here's a couple more photos. We'll run through those. Uh, this is reenact, uh, reenactors, mm -hmm, correct? Yes, members and, of the U.S. Uh, CT 5th uh, uh, Regiment from Toledo, Ohio, the reenactors. They encamped at uh, Bob Evans Fairground. And uh, you know, here's a couple other pi pictures, but really the emancipation celebration is made, and this is the zoo, right? Right, uh, the but Zoo. It, this whole, all of this is made possible by a group of volunteers, right? Right, right. So, uh, and, and uh, they have booths, mm -hmm. and all of this is brought together uh, through those volunteers. This is you all making apple butter, Oh, correct? yeah, that's one of our major fundraisers. Major fundraisers. <laughs> we had uh, yum, yum apple butter for sale. <laughs> and I, I went out and took pictures one year for that, and that was neat. It, it, I mean, it's a real community there's a, there were a lot of people there making apple butter that day so tell us a little bit about your committee and your group of volunteers well i tell you i think that we have one of the best uh, uh staff i have one of the best staffs in, in, of any organization in gallia county our our vice president uh, uh deacon glenn miller uh is uh very active in in the in church programs and the, the emancipation and and uh, uh our secretary and treasurer. Uh, we just uh, we meet once a month, every month, uh, uh, starting to plan our, our our year's program for the association. And uh, and uh, we three years ago we had uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Ray McKinnis uh, join our board. Uh, uh, he was a Bob Evans farm manager, uh, uh, and. Uh, it made a big difference in uh, in our, our our program, our celebration. He, he was really a motivator in in doing that. So. Well, that's great. Yep. So that that group of volunteers is, and they're all volunteers. They're all volunteers. Yeah. And uh, now, if somebody would want to get involved and help, uh, would they be able to just contact you? All they, have to, all they have to do is contact me, and uh, 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 my uh, my number is on our website. Okay, uh, on the, and it's and Emancipation uh, Celebration Day, right? right. Or Emancipation. Da, emancipation Dash Day. Day. Okay, I knew there was a, a little so, Emancipation. Uh, yeah. And you can always call the chamber 740 uh, 440-446-0596, and we can put you in touch with Andy as well. Uh, now, this is, you can't do the Emancipation uh, Celebration without sponsors, right? right? right. Uh, is there a cost to get in? Because there's not, correct? No, everything's so free. everything's free. Everything's free. Uh, so do you want to talk a little bit about maybe some of your sponsors that have sponsored throughout yes, the years? Yes, I'm, I'm very, very proud of uh, Gallia County, Galpolis and Gallia County. They have continually supported uh, the emancipation celebration with their with their with their money with their pocketbooks and uh, 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 AEP American Electric Power uh, uh, Gavin plant was was instrumental in being one of our first uh, corporate uh, corporate sponsors okay. and uh, they've been uh, they've been sponsoring us for, for quite a while and then Bob Evans uh, came on board about three years ago and invited us to come from the fairground Gallia County Fairgrounds to the Bob Evans farm and uh, they uh, set up the tents for us and uh, uh, the, you know the, all, all this is uh, free of charge and it uh, you know it, uh, it really uh, added to our celebration. Great. Now aside from the Emancipation Celebration itself, do you have other events throughout the year that are kind of tied in with that or other things that you do? Well, yes. Uh, we mentioned one of them is making apple butter. Apple butter. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to need some of that apple butter. Just it's good apple butter. I mean, I, 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 I'm kind of iffy on the apple butter sometimes, but it's I good apple, apple butter. butter. It's good <laughs> apple butter. Yeah, you got to taste this apple, but also we... Uh, now, what month is that typically? Uh, in November. November is when, in that's when the apples get ready for the, okay. for, for the apple butter in November and that. Uh, also, we're in uh, several of the uh, local parades, the 4th of July parade. This year we were in the St. Patrick's Day parade, and, and we had a float in the Christmas parade. Uh, uh, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're getting more and more involved in the in community uh, affairs. Now, is there, uh, are there other events that are tied into emancipation that take place at other locations? 
Um, do you have something like sings or anything like that, or well, that you've done in the past? We, uh, in the in the past, it uh, was just a two day event, but uh, now it's a three day. Okay. We start on Friday. Uh, Friday evening, uh, we're at the Aerial Theater. Okay, that's what I thought. Lists. Okay. And uh, our our program usually consists of uh, of uh, uh, local choirs and speakers, and uh, we just uh, you know have have a kind of a homecoming reception dinner upstairs at the Aerial Theater. Uh, okay. For for our guests. For everybody, uh, it's kind of a welcome. And it's all free for your children. <laughs> we like free. <laughs> well, we and, and we only have a couple minutes left. So, uh, would is there anything else that you'd like to say to the public or to anybody that's watching about I, the I event? I would just like to say that uh, we are really involved in a lot of different aspects. That uh, we we every year we give scholarships to uh, graduating seniors and. and uh, and get in around the county and uh, we're very proud of the fact that we we continue to do that and we have something for everybody young and old at our celebration so uh, it's in September the uh, uh, the 16th 17th and 18th this year so okay everyone come out <laughs> and enjoy, enjoy it <laughs> And I, I can say, um, and, and you, you've participated in uh, different things, and, and I've uh, covered it or went, and it is an amazing event to have been going all of this time, uh, you said since 1863, 63, yeah. nonstop. I mean, the, the amount of uh, volunteerism that takes to take keep something going nonstop for that long is just amazing. So we just think, uh, I, I encourage anybody to stop by uh, and, and just check it out, uh, see what they offer. There's a lot of history there. Yes. Uh, a lot of history, a lot of other, uh, you know, uh, things that go on, the, the speakers, the mm -hmm. reenactors, the, it's, it's just a great event. We got event. games for the kids. Games for the kids. Uh, you had bouncy houses this bouncy year. Bouncy houses. <laughs> so, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so we, we do. We encourage everybody to, to get involved somehow and help keep this the longest continuous running uh, event in the country. That's a big thing to say. I did want to mention that we have the Columbus Zoo every year. Yes, too. the zoo. They come down every year on, on Saturday to the program. Well, and so with that, yes, the zoo, and, and that was within the last couple of years. So we want to thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, again, this is Chamber Exchange. I'm Michelle Miller. I'm the Executive Director. I'm Jennifer Walker, the Associate Director. Thanks again for joining us. And if you ever have any questions about Chamber or members, call 740-446-0596 uh, or visit us on our website. Thank you.